Ready, Donald? Ready, Ronald! Fascinating! Um... Ronald? Yes? What is that? Why, well, I should have thought that was obvious. I've drawn a coconut! Ugh! Ronald! What? The game was to draw our favorite unappreciated mammal. And? A coconut is not an unappreciated mammal. A coconut is not even a mammal, it's a fruit. Donald, you're being absurd. A, a coconut produces milk and has hair. In what way is it not a mammal? A mammal may produce milk so that it can feed its young. A coconut has no children, therefore no milk needs to be produced. I believe that little baby Coco would disagree with you were she old enough to understand your frankly quite inane argument. What did you draw then that fit your astoundingly supercilious standards for mammalhood? I'm glad you asked. I drew a dick dick. A dick dick? Yes, a dick dick. Possibly one of the smallest antelopes known to the scientific community. <laughs> What? Oh, oh, nothing. Just, uh, the scientific community. <laughs> if you were so chummy with that particular group as you make yourself out to be, you would surely be aware that the smallest known antelope is, in actual fact, the Neostragus pygmaeus, better known as the royal antelope. Yes, I'm also aware that the creature with the smallest brain is, in fact, Ronald, also known as the royal pain in the buttocks. <laughs> See, that amuses me, because the size of my brain capacity is practically the size of a colossal squid compared to that of your mother! Take it back, you cur! Never, you scoundrel! You know, not that long ago, three minutes ago, actually, we were inseparable. Best friends with similar names. And here we are at each other's throats. What happened? I don't know. Something got away from me. Like our friendship. But that is not insurmountable. We can build together with your intelligence and my other intelligence. We can build a high-rise tight wire bridge to cross the gap between your heart and mine. Friends? Always. Let's go.